So this is our internet question. So somebody sent a sent a mail asking uh, um, asking for you guys to explain the song. Um, somebody told me, does it mean that your ex girlfriend became a man or was a man? That's how he understood it. Um, Can you enlighten us on this? Sorry to ruin it for him. It's, <laughs> he's, he's wrong. Uh, um, uh, Nicolas, tu fais trop de fantasmes. <laughs> he said he's fantasizing too much. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just it's just a, a light-hearted song. And it's, 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 he it's, said, it's she pretty, said. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. That's basically it. It's mm. kind of a he said, she said type mm. of a deal. Uh, basically, you're compatible with someone because you both dated someone that looks similar. And so <laughs> that's your connection. Okay, so you guys said that <laughs> this record um, it uh, represents like the end of a learning period. And uh, do you guys feel like you are the Jedi's of rock? Jedi's. Jedi. Yes. May the force be with you. Uh, well. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Next question. How do you see? How do you you see the return of rock a bit retro and et tout comme ça. How do you guys, uh, what do you guys think about like the the kind of revival of like kind of retro arty rock? Uh, we see it as a great thing for music because mm. uh, you know as we we're talking about people like um, Miss Miss Thing. Miss Thing. Like, yeah. uh, <laughs> it's getting people back into real music, and uh, I think people are excited about it. They they can tell you know that. We, you know, we play our instruments and we're real, and uh, that's attractive to people. And uh, we, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of our roots go back to, you know, classic, classic songs. Mm -hmm. And so it's nice to be able to bring that back to, to kids, and and it's, it's refreshing uh, again for older too. people, yeah, because they haven't <laughs> had it in a while, so. Yeah. Donc euh, pour lui c'est c'est vraiment cool et c'était totalement nécessaire parce que euh, enfin euh, des artistes comme Mademoiselle Spears en fait euh, en fait les gens commencent à avoir un peu ras-le-bol et ça leur permet euh, à eux à la vraie de musique, faire hein. un retour à la vraie musique et de faire des vrais des belles chansons et tout comme ça et eux leur base et leur leur inspiration vient vraiment du du rock euh, back in the days quoi l'ancienne et, et puis euh, ça c'est leur version et les gens ils voient qu'ils sont vrais et qu'ils jouent leurs instruments tout comme le groupe quand on va regarder là tout de suite the white, white stripes, stripes. Uh, hardest button the button let's make this let me go is the MTV Europe Music Awards uh, sur mtv.fr jusqu'à ce soir demain demain c'est le grand jour uh, thank you guys for coming it Thanks was a pleasure us. thank you it thank was you. a pleasure and uh, hope all goes well in the future <laughs> and all that good stuff and everything yeah it's Good man. Donc Good uh, The Killers, c'est le premier album, c'est Hot Fuss. Um, si vous voulez plus d'infos, c'est thekillersmusic.com. Et ils sont de retour en février 2005 en concert en France. Donc uh, voilà, aimez la bonne musique, écoutez la bonne musique. I'm saying, listen to good music, love good music, get good music. Mais faites pas que ça, hein, les pécho des boeufs aussi. Ouais, <laughs> Prenez soin de vous. Peace. Uh,